Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is the initial screen view when you open up Word 2003 or XP. The first thing you should notice is that the Word screen consists of two windows. There's the application and then there's the document window inside the application window. The documents open up within the application window so you can have multiple documents open without having to restart the program. You can close the document window and you can still see the application window behind it. Now the application window is the actual frame of the program. It consists of some default objects like the title bar which is this blue bar at the top of the screen, the menu bar which we can click on the menu commands and view subcommands, which we can then select with our mouse. At the very bottom we have the status bar telling us where we're at in the document. We also have the standard toolbar which is what we call this toolbar right below the menu bar and it contains very standard commands across the Microsoft Office. So for example if I wanted a new blank document I could click this button open, save, print, cut, copy and paste, and undo. So very standard commands on the standard toolbar. Below that we also have the formatting toolbar and this is what we use to make our documents look better. So it's got things like bold, italic, underline, font color, things that we use to change the appearance or enhance the appearance of the document. Now below that we would actually have the document window and this is where we do the majority of our work in Word. Now inside of that you'll also see the tabs button in the upper left corner if you're viewing your rulers and the rulers that you see might depend on the view of your document which we'll talk about in a little bit. You'll also have a scroll bar over at the right side that you can click on to move up and down in the document and probably one at the bottom although it depends once again on your view of the document and this can scroll you from left to right and in the 2003 and XP versions you'll also have something called the task pane which is this pane that occasionally appears at the right side of the screen. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.